What's up guys, Lore here with more exciting, awesome, and other things, Heart of the Swarm action. Got some more awesome uh, awesome matches today from uh, the White Raw Reflake Pack down here in the southeast corner here on Akalon Waste. In the red, we have none other than White Raw himself, the man, the legend, the mystery, the Ukrainian. And up here in the northwest, we have Liquid Noni, another Protoss, uh, formerly known as Tyler, formerly known as Noni before that. Uh, both of these guys are really, really interesting. The, even early on in the beta, in the original Wings of Liberty, both of these guys were just doing all sorts of crazy, just crazy stuff. Like, just trying all sorts of things. They've always been very, um, experimental, I guess is a good, a good, uh, good phrase for it. So, really gonna be interesting to see what these guys end up doing now that everything's just kind of weird now. We've seen White Rod doing all sorts of crazy stuff with Tempest, uh, and being really, really super active with... Uh, oracles. Honestly, White Raw is the one person who seems to have found a way to make the Tempest work so th thus far, which is pretty awesome because it's a unit that everybody else is kind of shrugging off right now. White Raw says, you know what, I'm going to make them anyway, and I'm just going to try and figure out ways to make them work. And that is pretty cool. That is how you come up with new builds and new ideas. So both, both players starting out with pretty much the exact same opener, going for that 13 gateway. A uh, little later than uh, what we would see if we were expecting some really, really early aggression. So I'm imagining we will probably see very fast expands out of both of these guys. Although Noni is picking up his assimilator first. He started that just a bit before White Raw has now taken his. Uh, but, you know, just little subtle differences in the builds. That's the sort of thing that you would expect this early on in the beta. Is people just trying little different timing business. Like perhaps Noni is trying out in this case. And I'm not trying to... Uh, read into his mind too much here, but perhaps that would be something that you would try out. Just say, hey, you know, I want to get an Oracle out a little bit earlier. Maybe I'll grab that gas on 14 instead of 15 or something. So, it'll be interesting to see what these guys end up doing. The Cyber Corps ended up going down at pretty much the exact same time. Noni's now taking his second gas and actually showing White Rock because he does have this probe in here. White Rock now will obviously seize that second gas, so he's going to be expecting something in terms of a heavy gas production out of Noni because that is a very, very early second gas for Protoss, even in the beta right now. I would not be surprised to see an Oracle popping out of Noni very, very soon after that Cybercore finishes. Uh, in fact, both players actually started their Cybercore at the exact same time, so even though the timings were a little bit different, in terms of when they got gases, uh, it actually ended up being pretty much the same build overall. Noni's just a little bit ahead if you look uh, up in the upper right. Well, he was a second ago. Was just a little bit ahead in the um, in the gas production. And ooh, this is probably why he's getting his mothership core out just a little bit faster than White Rod is able to. White Rod does not have the gas yet to be able to get out his mothership core. And in fact, he's opting for. Uh, uh, a stalker and chrono boosting that warp gate research a little bit faster. In fact, uh, with that second gateway on there, oh, this is interesting. Uh, wow. Okay, so Noni's actually going for a gas steal. So uh, you you don't see this too often anymore in Protoss versus Protoss because generally speaking, especially if you're opening with a two gas play, at least in Wings of Liberty. Uh, that would often force your opponent into something that was kind of hard for you to defend against anyway. But we see what Noni is doing over here is he's actually getting out a sentry, which is going to help him defend quite a bit. He has his mothership core as well, which should also, again, help him quite a bit with the defenses because of that purify ability, which does a substantial amount of damage uh, for a brief period of time. We see White Rod is actually going for that fast expand that I was expecting. Noni, on the other hand, seems to be sitting back for the moment. He's gone up to two gateways, getting on a third as well, and he may be going for some sort of three-gate timing push here. This could be interesting to see what he ends up doing. Gonna have to keep a close eye on Mr. Noni. Of course, we're gonna have to keep a close eye on both of these players because we're commentating a match, and that's what you do when you commentate a match, is you, you watch what they're doing and you talk about it. So, we do now have this expansion coming up for Noni over here. Uh, both players taking relatively early expansions, like I mentioned earlier. Actually, I, I would go ahead and say Noni's expansion is kind of late, given how the uh, the meta the meta game has uh, adjusted lately. Uh, even though you know it is Heart of the Swarm, it is the beta. Things are going to be a little bit different. That is kind of a late expansion, so definitely should be seeing some aggression, I would imagine, out of him very soon with these three gateways up already. Either that, or he just wants to kind of slingshot forward with the production already in place. Uh, and there he is adding on a Stargate as well. He may just. He may just feel a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Vulnerable. There we go. Maybe feeling a little bit vulnerable because he does have four sentries up. That does, uh, make it pretty easy for him to block stuff off. 
Meanwhile, White Rod is showing no signs of aggression whatsoever. He's warped in a few units so far, but he's still just sitting on... Oh, he is now going up to four gateways, but it's obviously not a four gate because he is on two bases. Essentially, he's just gone for the fourth gateway instead of the Stargate that Noni is adding on and just now finishing. And in fact, there's a robotics facility for White Ross, so he won't be going for Stargate play, at least not early on. Uh, we've been seeing him do a lot of Stargate play lately, so it's interesting to see him doing something else. And in fact, somehow or another, White Ross actually managed to pick up a small supply lead. He's up to 48 to Noni's 42. Uh, even though Noni had those extra... Oh, that's, that's nice to see. He's actually using the... Uh, what is that called? Energize? Yes, the Energize ability to buff up the Chrono Boost on his Nexus. You don't see a whole lot of people actually doing that just yet, because especially in the early game, a lot of Protoss just don't know what to do with that extra Chrono Boost. But he's actually using it to get out Phoenixes. Mmm. Phoenixes from Noni. Noni's actually been pretty well known in the past for some really, really solid Phoenix play. So I really want to know what he's got cooking. It may be just that he's, he's seen White Rod doing all sorts of Tempest play in the past, and Phoenixes are actually pretty good at killing Tempest. In fact, anything that's fast and can shoot air is pretty good at killing Tempest because, well, they're slow and squishy. So we'll have to see what he's up to there. Got an Observer coming out here now for White Rod, which will allow him to get some of that early scouting in. Uh, and he is adding on... is it right here? No, that's the Forge. Somewhere around here. There we go. He is adding on a Stargate as well as a Robotics Bay. So White Rod going in all sorts of directions at once with his... Um, with his tech tree here. Now this is an interesting move to see here. I'm gonna say I'm gonna call this that White Rod is actually planning to expand to his third base very soon. This this map is Aklon Waste. I didn't get a chance really to talk about that earlier. In fact, I may not get a chance to right now because Noni's actually coming in here with his Phoenix. He's gonna lift up that probe, get a kill off real quick, and come over here and start harassing the hell out of this mineral line. And White Rod actually doesn't have too much in the way of air defenses. He is now warping in a fourth and fifth stalker, which will force Noni to pull back and sort of regroup with Phoenixes. Maybe coming in for another pass, though, here very soon. Might, might be swinging around down here to the south. He's also going to get a chance to scout over here. Uh, he may have checked the, the health on those destructible rocks. May not have. Either way, he knows that there isn't a third over there. And now he's up here in the main doing, uh, doing tons of damage to that probe line. If we go ahead and check the... If I can remember the hotkey. There it is. The workers killed. Yeah, six workers killed now for Noni. And only two for White Raw. White Raw, in the meanwhile, is just sort of peppering the map with, uh, it look like, looks like he might be coming down here to go ahead and get that expansion off. Peppering the map with these uh, pylons as well, just to sort of keep an eye on the other bases nearby. Uh, but the thing I was going to mention earlier, he can actually kill these destructible rocks here on Akalon Waste, and then kill these uh, ones over here, this collapsible rock tower, which essentially just moves that choke point over here. Gives him a little bit of extra defenses. Now White, or excuse me, Noni's coming in with his Phoenixes again. Ooh, actually going to take a little bit of extra damage, and White Ra actually activating the, uh, the Purify ability on his Mothership Core to do even a little bit more damage. Unfortunately, he was not able to do any hull damage. He did get this Phoenix rather low on the... Uh, on his shields, but otherwise was not able to do much in the way of damage. And oh, catching the Observer, that is huge, huge for Noni. He's now going to be able to move around the map pretty much undetected whatsoever. He's going to sneak down here, oh, but he's going to go right past that pylon and that batch of Stalkers. Unfortunately, that batch of Stalkers is now nowhere near it where it needs to be to be able to defend against this Phoenix Harassment. He's going to come in here, pick up another couple probe kills. Uh, there are a few Stalkers down over here, but unfortunately not much up over here that can actually shoot air. He has the Mothership Core and he may actually lose this Phoenix. No, just barely gets away. Five health left on that Phoenix and it's able to get out of there. Did, did unfortunately take a whole lot of structural damage, obviously. But Noni being very, very careful with those Phoenixes and has not lost one yet. And now, yet again, coming in here to do even more probe harassment with those phoenixes and white rod looks like he may actually just push out and try to do damage no he's going to try and swing around here and see if he can catch those phoenixes on the retreat uh but doesn't look like noni's actually going to fall into that trap he's going to move off to the side now and noni's just going to sit over here and say you know what there's nothing over here right now i'm not that worried white rod now though may actually look like he's going into some sort of attack or perhaps he's just trying to clear out these zelnaga watchtowers on this map there are four zelnaga watchtowers there's one here one here one over here and one over here as well. That if you're capturing, especially these two middle ones, whoops, excuse me, especially these two middle ones here, uh, you're able to do quite a bit of scouting with just those two. It looks like Noni did manage to lose two Phoenixes there in that engagement. It's down to just three Phoenixes now. Uh, thanks to that Mothership Core, it's actually been quite, uh, quite dead, actually. It looks like he actually managed to pick it off in the middle of that. 
but uh, before that happened, he actually was able to do quite a bit of damage with that. Let's check in on the tech trees of these couple of players real quick. We've got three Colossi now up for White Rod, and he just finished his extended Thermal Lance upgrade as well, going up to 2-2 two -two on the weapons, or at least uh, just plus two weapons, excuse me. Uh, no armor upgrades as of yet. He's getting out Void Rays as well. That's a very, very interesting choice. He is uh, getting his Fleet Beacon somewhere. I don't see it right now. Supply line. He is getting his Fleet Beacon somewhere. Meanwhile, even more of this uh, this Phoenix Harassment from Noni just being ridiculously effective with those. It, it, just leave it to Noni to say, you know what? I know that they added a new, a new unit in Heart of the Swarm that I can use to harass entire probe lines at once. But I don't care. I'm still just going to use Phoenixes. That's that's what Noni's doing right now. And in fact, in the midst of this, he's adding on a third base. Oops, excuse me. Taking a little bit of damage down there. Did not manage to lose any of those, although that one Phoenix did take a bunch of damage. He's adding on, excuse me, this is actually a fourth base here for Noni because he does have this third up and running over here and about halfway saturated. Uh, and his natural is doing pretty well also, as long as, oh, excuse me, along with his main. Starting to get kind of low on the minerals in his main. Uh, but White Rod is following right in turn, getting his fourth base up. Now has his third up and operational, and actually has elected not to kill these collapsible rock towers. What I've seen a couple of players do in the past is actually just get these low, so that they see an attack incoming, they can finish it off and block them off. But he's actually elected to just not bother with that at all. He says, you know what, I don't actually, actually care. That's a relatively tight choke, uh, and I would like to, uh, like to leave that open. So meanwhile, both both players now actually are warping in a, a mothership. They are expanding their mothership cores into the full-fledged mothership. This is actually the first game that I've seen a Protoss player do this, and they're both doing it in this match. Noni is now acting, uh, adding on uh, Templar Archives and going up to, looks like, 2-2 weapons as well. Uh, White Ra is just now finishing his plus two weapons upgrade, but has not researched any uh, armor upgrades just yet. Oh, excuse me, I, I'm mistaken. He's actually researched one of them so far. And Noni, oh, excuse me, just now starting that. Apologies. Uh, White Rock actually going up to plus three weapons. Still no, still no armor upgrades. I believe he does just have this one forge operational. However, he has picked up the Zealot Charge, if I'm not mistaken. Where did he put that Twilight Council? There it is. Uh, no, he is not. It must have been Noni that researched Twilight, or excuse me, Zealot Charge. Uh, and in fact, I'm looking at the complete wrong person whatsoever. I'm looking at. Uh, I'm completely and totally out of my mind right now. I've got them backwards. Notice, notice on my spectator screen. I just want to point out this, point this out real quick because this is actually driving me nuts. Top white raw, bottom noni. In the upper right, top noni, bottom white raw. So Blizzard, if you could fix that, that would make my brain work a lot better. Meanwhile, we have a very, very large. Did they actually make the mothership bigger? That looks bigger than I can remember. I may be making that up, but it does actually look a little bit bigger to me right now. It may be just because I'm completely and totally sane. Insane, excuse me. Completely and totally sane. Yes. No. Either way, we have a fairly sizable force moving out from Noni over here right now. Whoops, excuse me. And uh, a pretty evenly sized force over here as well. Let's check the units tab. Uh, the Colossus advantage goes to Noni, but only by one. Uh, and White Rod does have several several stalkers available as well as uh, he's starting to morph in Archons also. So I actually like. Uh, oh, never mind. We've just gone up to 12 Colossi for Noni. So if he can regroup with those uh, marching down over here right now, then his army does look. A, it'd be an interesting match. It'd be an interesting match to watch. It also depends on where White Rod's mothership is. It is relatively close, so could be an interesting matchup to watch. I'd say these armies are actually relatively close. Uh-oh. Is he going to lose that High Templar? He is. That's unfortunate. It was only one, and it doesn't look like he's researching Storm. He's just holding on to it for, um, uh, excuse me, he's just holding on to it for making Archon. So he actually, it seems like he accidentally made an extra one. But otherwise, never mind. Here we go. Army's moving in here. White Rod did get the first volley off. Unfortunately, the mothership is right there for Noni and was a little bit away for White Rod. Their armies are relatively evenly matched overall, like I was saying earlier. Even in supply, they're pretty close. And oh no, taking a little bit of extra shots on that over there. The Vortex goes down. I didn't get a chance to see if anything actually got caught in that. But the Vortex is down now. A second Vortex out. I don't know whose Vortex is whose. Both teams are just sort of wandering into them right now. White Ra's wandering a bunch of his Colossi into that. Noni actually dove his whole army into this Vortex over here. So this could be a slaughter as soon as this wears off. And there it is coming back out of there. Whole bunch of damage going out. Unfortunately, White Ra's mothership is out of position. And the cloaking field is not in place. Whereas it is for Noni. So Noni's army is just completely tearing through White Ra's right now. And that's it. 
wow, that positioning of the mothership just, it, he didn't have his mothership in the right place. Noni's army popped out and nothing was visible, whereas White Raw, he could see everything. Noni could see everything that White Raw had. Noni didn't even, I don't think he even lost a unit in that whole engagement. He's at 194 supply still. White Raw at 98, so that has to be a frustrating loss for White Raw right there. Just having his mothership in the wrong the wrong spot led to him losing everything in the blink of an eye. Anyway, that game was pretty intense up at the end there. Very, 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 very calm for a while, but then it got pretty intense up at the end. My name is Lore. I'll see you in the next match.